These pictures show floodwaters coming from the Cowwood burn scar. Park rangers say that tiny Gear Creek swelled to more than three times its size on Sunday. Rain gauges in that area picked up close to an inch of rain in less than 24 hours. Burn scar flooding is typically called a debris flow because it's a mix of rainwater and burn scar debris. When a wildfire scours the land, it burns the vegetation that holds the soil together. That makes it easier for flood water to move sediments. It also leaves a burn glaze on the surface of the dirt. That smooth layer can prevent rainwater from absorbing into the soil, and it allows it to accelerate downhill quickly. It's a condition that hydrologists call hydrophobic soil. Debris flows are usually very dark in color due to all the ash it picks up along the way. They cause creeks to run faster and wider than normal, but another danger comes with clogging and damming. When culverts and drains get plugged with fire debris, the water must find another route to get downhill. That's usually how roads get washed away quickly during a debris flow. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News. The National Weather Service says that typically it takes about half an inch of rain or more in less than an hour to cause flash flooding and a burn scar, but each scar will have its own individual traits, and they're still working to access the threshold of each of the new burn scars. And just to think, really, this is just the start. We're going to have a lot of good thunderstorms and monsoon season and everything else. So we're not going to talk about that yet.